Hi, I'm Alex Morales. I'm the Resource Development Specialist at The Resurrection Project, a community-based organization in Pilsen that works to build a better neighborhood. Pilsen is considered by many as Chicago's center of Mexican-American life. For tens of thousands of Mexican-American residents, Pilsen is home. And thousands of visitors a year come to our community to experience its rich cultural heritage, see our picturesque murals, or enjoy a tasty meal. Today, I want to also talk about another aspect of Pilsen that is woven into our history. Since the 19th and 20th centuries, Pilsen has been a port of entry for hard-working immigrants and struggles for workers' rights, community organizing, and local development, all of which have shaped Pilsen into what the community is today. Originally, an Eastern European neighborhood, Pilsen was critical in Chicago's reconstruction after the infamous Great Fire of 1871. Located just a few miles from downtown and on the Chicago River, Pilsen utilized its docks, warehouses, and industry to help raise the city back from its ashes. Pilsen is still a working class neighborhood, and workers' cottages, churches, and storefronts still exist from that time. Also, Pilsen still has a thriving industrial corridor, bringing jobs to the community and goods to Chicago. But in America and in Chicago, workers have not always been treated fairly. In 1877, a railroad strike against wage cuts during a severe economic depression quickly spread to other industries. In Pilsen, Bohemian workers tried to shut down brickyards and ironworks. The result was the Battle of the Viaduct, which was held here at 16 and Holstead. Thousands of workers rioted against the police and military, leading to the death of 30 workers and generating headlines all across the nation. There are other reminders of the Bohemian era in Pilsen's history. Thalia Hall, built in 1892 by the Bohemians, it's located on 18th Street, the spine of the neighborhood, with a host of retail shops, restaurants, and historically important buildings. The modern chapter of Pilsen's story really started around 1960, as the Mexican population of Pilsen began growing rapidly. By 1976, during the climax of the era of Chicano power, muralists started expressing sentiments towards what they saw as an unfair social, political, and economic climate along the same railroad embankment as the Battle of the Viaduct. These murals, at the aptly named Galeria del Barrio, predate the famous California mural movement in San Francisco. Since the murals on these walls were created without permission from the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway, support for their preservation is difficult to leverage and sadly these works are fading away. Today, here at the main crossroads of our community at 18th Street at Blue Island, you see Pilsen's Mexican identity, the monument in the center of Plaza Tenochtitlan with the eagle eating a snake symbol on the Mexican flag was given to the mayor of Chicago by the mayor of Mexico City. You also can see the fruits of our activism in the plaza. Radio Arte is a youth-driven Spanish language station with a public radio format. The Rudy Lozano Public Library is named after a passionate local community activist who worked to empower workers and forge coalitions among Latinos, African Americans, and other minorities. Community organizing had also led to the creation of affordable medical services as Alivio Medical Center provides health care to all regardless of income. Next door is the brand new Casa Morelos, 45 units of affordable rental housing in an environmentally friendly green building. A few blocks away, Benito Juarez High School, built for Pilsen's growing Mexican-American community in 1977, a response to demands for a less crowded school by residents. Pilsen is also home to the National Museum of Mexican Art the nation's largest Latino arts institution and the only Latino museum accredited by the American Association of Museums. 
There is no better place to symbolize Pilsen as Chicago center of Mexican American life than El Zócalo, Pilsen's own town square. Located south of 18th Street and Polina, El Zócalo celebrates Pilsen's heritage in its picturesque murals and by hosting events. The old Bohemian church in the plaza, St. Virus Parish, was a key player in the history of Pilsen's community organizing until its doors closed in 1992. Today, it's the home office for the Resurrection Project. I invite you to visit our neighborhood, have a taste of our cuisine, and sample the sounds of a vibrant, safe, and well-organized community.